finishing up on section three right now. And we got five sections because we want the highlights to kind of fall in different directions. These up top, we want them to fall to the side. These on the side going on diagonal, we want them to kind of flow back the way it's, the haircut is. These in the front, we want them to fall to her face. So we don't just put random highlights. We definitely don't use a cap for this, this length of hair. We're switching up the sections and doing the same combination, but in different patterns on how the hair falls. And this is an example of coloring the cut. Meaning, once you have the haircut, everybody doesn't get the same format. We switch it up and actually color the hair according to how the haircut is going to fall. And you could also do the opposite, which is cut the color. And I'm just giving them a random haircut. Cut the, cut, cut the haircut, or cut the hair that already has previous hair color on it to showcase or to show off the color. So great, right now I'm trying to marry the cut and the color. So we're using slices instead of highlighting weaves. We're using whole sections and we're doing every other one fourth section. So this is again the last section of section three and I have a triangle here, a triangle here, another triangle on this side and I got like this rectangle section which you can clearly see in the front, right? So, what colors do we have? You can kind of phase on these. They look like this is the dark one and this is the light one, but it's because of their base. This is actually the dark, which is 8G. And this is actually the lighter shade, which is like... No, excuse me, this is the dark. 4G. This is the lighter shade, which is like 8G. So this is like a level 4. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with hair color, take a weave, pack of faux hair, and a pack of 8 hair. So that gives you an idea of the level, and they got gold bases, and then they're browns, or this is almost like a soft blonde and a rich, like golden brown. So we're alternating that, and then the foils are accordingly. Like the darker foil is the darker color, the lighter foil is the lighter color. So you don't get confused. We want to know why they use the color foils. It looks fun. It looks, you know, exciting, but it's really fun not to get confused. So these we're going to switch up, and we're not going to lay the foils this way because then everything will spread out this way. We want them to actually fall in her face. So she's got gold, then a natural color, then brown, then a natural color, right? But she shook her head like, yep, that's what I want. So the first section, which is close to her part, we're gonna put the lighter. So she's helping me out. We get the lighter foil, right? We lay that rat tail as close as we can. Even the lighter brush, Turn, turn out the lighter brush helps us to remember too. Silver is lighter than purple, right? So we're gonna put the lighter formula close as we can to the root. Make sure you saturate the whole thing. Okay. Put the foil all the way on the hairline. Come back up with the rat. Place that on there, boom. It's kind of a thing that a lot of people don't have a, have a problem with, the full package, but it's pretty routine. Now the next section we actually leave out, which is her natural section. And if you get a look at her hairline, you can kind of see what we're doing. You're going to see how everything is start, going to fall. So we push that to the side, right? Take a clip. Now this is the darker shade, so she's giving me the blue foil, right? Put the, okay, we get the darker brush. And again, the colors are, are processing in the bowl, so you got to make sure that you don't get confused because they look the opposite. This looks lighter, but it's actually the darker, it's the darker color. They have to process for up to 45 minutes, so this is why it hasn't fully done what it's going to do. Make sure it's fully saturated all the way to the ends. Kind of use the side of the brush to get the roots. Okay. Flat down, fold, flat down, fold. All right, we're gonna do two more, and uh, we're gonna phase out. All right, leave that out. 
another like one full section. Actually, we'll just do one more. That's all we're gonna need. I think y'all got the point. All right, she's giving me the silver. I'm gonna use the silver brush and the lighter brush. If we were doing weaves, we would weave through, but we're not. We want while we're using the panel, she wants bigger color, bolder color. But it's still going to be toned down and a grow out is going to be easier for her because every other section is her natural section. Right? Her natural, well, excuse me, her natural level, which is about a two to three. And her hair in particular, if you know anything about this head texture, is very porous. So actually, we don't have a problem with it lifting. It's a misconception that dark hair, be it African American, African, uh, Asian, Hawaii, you know. What was it Pacific Islander, whatever we want to label ourselves? <laughs> People, who cares, right? Dark hair is dark hair. Um, it's a misconception. As long as they don't have any previous, as long as they don't have any previous black, artificial black, we can lift this level two or level three hair all the way. We just have to have the right form. If you want to know about the formulas, then I myself would be at the uh, Black and Blonde on November 14th. <laughs> Here at the salon, that's a nice little plug. You like to let that somewhere? <laughs> darker color, darker brush, darker foil. And we can really explain how we're taking and manipulating. I like to use that word because it's not really any new magic product. It's knowing how to use the developers, how to mix it properly, how to apply it, what developers to use, what colors to use, and what situation to get the right results. It's not magic. It's just knowing what you have, I guess, to make magic, right? So, the last fall, I'm going to finish it up. She's going to phase out. And, uh, again, we're doing a rectangle section. So, these are coming this way. Another triangle. You can see, come to the side for a second. You can see how these are laid, right? This whole back ponytail, we're not coloring because everything is going to spread on top of it. And we have one other section. It's like an overlay. Can you see that? A little kind of soft little oval triangle. We're going to lay those vertical as well so they drop and give the illusion that all of this hair is covered when it's really not. All of this is going to stay natural. Let's give you an idea of the... Because this, this section went at a diagonal so you can clearly see the goal brown and it just alternates and you'll see like she has her black like in between right and then here this is that hair that we told y'all was in the back striped see like this no hair color yet when we place vertical panels oh man 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 we put vertical panels of color, they go flat to the ground and give the illusion like she's got hair color on everything. Look at that. Clearly gold, brown, you know. So that is the side. And then in the front, remember we did the panels this way. So again, eight, four, natural, eight, four, natural. So we got them coming here, so when we curl, she's going to have some of that going on. So we're going to come back in a minute and finish the whole thing. But that's the one process, no bleach, single process, just the right formulas and her natural color. You see the natural color. Her natural color is too, it's dark. So without bleach, we were able to get these beautiful shades of brown. And she's a fun client because she was like, I don't care, just going to be brown or something else. I don't care. Those are the best kind. So... This is section two, uh, video mm, clip two, and then we're gonna get clip three when she tells me finished. Brown, but honestly, you could say like butterscotch and chocolate. Turn around again. Yeah, you can see the gold clearly. Chocolate truffles is that what we're gonna call them? So, ma'am, this is you know this the best business card in the world right here. Just send them out on the street. Now, ma'am, do you like it? That's the big thing. I love it. 